All right, man, peace. So for those of you brothers who've been on my channel long enough, you know that I'm fond of stating that for the most part, the woman is just a child with breasts, for the most part. There are exceptions to that rule, but for the most part, that's pretty much all the woman is. She's a child with breasts. And when you understand that, your interactions with her become a lot clearer and there's a lot less obfuscation. There's a lot less confusion that, that comes along with your interactions with them. And in regards to the so-called liberal male or the liberal black male in particular, all that entity really is, is a female trapped in a man's body. So therefore we can deduce that the liberal black male is really just a child with breasts trapped inside of the body of a man. <laughs> And that brings us to Mr. LeBron James. We all know that LeBron James is wokeity woke. He is a liberal black male personified. And he has no problems being used by corporate factions as well as the liberal Caucasian elite. And therefore he has no problem making a complete fool of himself. And that's what we see here. Just a big boy, just a big child. This is why he's not equipped to lead. Grown ass man with a two-piece basketball pajama set on with a, <laughs> with, a <laughs> with a hood on it. Well, his boo thing, or one of his boo things, LaShannon Sharp James, is going to explain why LeBron had this outfit on. So they're going to talk about it, and I'm going to chime in. All right, Colin, thank you. Time for our final topic of the day. If you ever wanted total access uh, to LeBron, you might have gotten a glimpse yesterday courtesy of his wife. Savannah posted a video of LeBron wearing PJs, covered... And she really was just clowning his ass. That's really, that's really what Savannah was doing. She's like, I got three sons. And once again, brothers, a lot of times the so-called black man has a hard time grasping why he has so much difficulty getting respect from the so-called black woman. It's because the so-called black woman is accustomed to so many so-called black males conducting themselves like big boys, even as they get into their early 30s like LeBron James is, grown-ass man walking around with this outfit. Hey, come on. That's how you know that so many of his so-called social stances is just a facade. He's somebody who's looking for attention. I've been telling you brothers that for a very long time. Underneath all that bluster, he's just a big boy. Covered in basketballs. What? Shannon, yes. you liking the look? Minus the hood. I'm about to give me a <laughs> Minus the hood. Minus the hood. Just I'm like yeah, Skip. I love the outfit. As a matter of fact, I already got one. Me and Braun ordered the same sweatsuit off Amazon. He got basketballs on his, I got footballs on mine. Savannah also got her a one piece. We lay up in the bed at night, drink hot chocolate, wear our outfits. What's the problem? Braun was just mad because his didn't have the footsies on him. Braun liked his pajamas with footsies on him. That's the hood. Yeah. Okay. Well, this the hood's fine. No. I mean, huh? you know, LeBron be, do be wearing a do-rag, so that might be the do-rag already built into the, the piece. Yeah, you know, Braun like a hoodie on his because, you know, he's trying to protect them last three follicles he got left. The PJs. But I might have to get me a pair because I got me a pair of LeBron slippers. You do? I, I thought you Hell yeah. Got me a pair of Braun slippers and a pair of Braun drawers. Got his face right on the backside of my drawers. I love it. Every time I sit down, Braun's face is providing the protection that I need on these hard ass chairs that you bought for this studio with your cheap ass. I thought you had LeBron PJs with his little heads all over, like little faces. Nah, I got I got PJs that got. I got those skip, but right now they're in the dry cleaners. Got LaShannon on the back. Really? Yeah. LaShannon oh, on yeah. the back. I like that. Custom. I have PJs. Yeah, yeah, custom. Yes, yeah, that's my government name. Since we was officially married in our three-way relationship, me, Braun, and Savannah. My real name is LaShannon Sharp James, the second. Well, this was so cute on LeBron. Don't do that, Skip. So That's cute. unnecessary. You know, what's unnecessary are pajamas. I have never in my life worn pajamas. I don't get it. Why? Of course you don't need to wear pajamas, Skip. You grew up in a cave. You grew up in a cave. What the hell you need pajamas for? Why? Why would somebody wear pajamas? Yeah, you gotta wear pajamas. I mean, mean? a t-shirt. Pajamas mean you're distinguished. Really? And that's what LeBron and I, we're distinguished. Mm -hmm. So, I, yeah, I got PJ. Well, Absolutely, Skip. I'm distinguished. Me and Brown, we sit up, you know, in our huge living room, 22,000 square foot living room that we have. And we watch TV every day and every night. We watch a replay of me whooping your ass every morning. And then we watch film of him getting his ass whooped on defense every night. And I try to help his ass out because he's pathetic right now. But that's, 
neither here nor there. Point B, we wear our silk pajamas. Mine have footballs on it. He have basketballs. Yeah. As you saw in, in, in the commercial that we filmed, yeah, you saw, saw them silk PJ eight and four got a smoking jacket too. Yeah. And when LeBron fancy. win tonight, I'm gonna wear it out here tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah. Tomorrow after LeBron beat Minnesota tonight, I'm gonna come in tomorrow with my silk robe on and nothing else. Just my silk robe, a pair of socks, and a cigar. Jenny, don't look down. I don't want you to get traumatized by what I'm holding. Yes. Smoking jacket or smoking jumpers? I'm wearing both. <laughs> Are you? Yes. Is that a promise or a promise. threat? That's a promise. That's a commandment. You got that, Skip Bayless? I promise you I'll be here with my silk smoking jacket on and my socks. Maybe a pair of slippers, but no drawers. I promise you that's going to be no drawers. It's going to be a blackout in the studio tomorrow when they see this cable I got. I promise I'm wearing my smoking jacket because I'm going to get my smoke on tomorrow, too. Yeah. Jen and I. Huh. Gonna be on the gonna be on the miles and that. That's right. Jenny also going to the hospital. Well, Cause when she see what I got, I promise you she gonna pass out. She gonna faint. All I'm gonna have on is my robe, Skip. Let HR know. I don't want to have to go and report for sexual harassment. I'm warning everybody. I'm coming here tomorrow with nothing on but a smoking jacket. After bra went tonight. And that really? yak. Yep. Well, well, Why am I in part of that? We equation? celebrate. You. Okay. Yeah. Sure, I'm Jim. a Timberwolves fan. We, we, we're <laughs> No, you LA fan now. No, you know. I know. Jenny, just be quiet. Talking about you're a Timberwolves fan. I got something to make you howl. Oh. No, no, Jenny, come on. You got to ride with me, Jenny. Is there something going on with this Jenny and the Henny? No. Oh, you Jenny, Jenny on that Henny really? for a minute. I thought you are going to get not. cold in the middle. <laughs> Shannon said Jenny on that Henny for a minute. Clean by the fireplace. I am. You're you putting. Little, you got an ice cube. Got about three or four of them big old ice cubes in that glass. Really? He's making stuff up, Skip. Don't listen to the guy. You know what? I thought LeBron could be a little more clever than just a bunch of little basketball. What do you want? Why would you think that, Skip Bayless? There's nothing clever or witty about LeBron James at all. I've never heard him say anything witty at all. What he likes to do is sit up in the post-game press conference at the dais in the playoffs and talk about how he can remember. 14 straight plays in a row and then smile at the media as they gave him a round of applause. LeBron's still stuck at the age of 11 in regards to his emotional maturity. What do you want him to have on? I don't know. She? How did he find some of those that big? Those, those have to be. Skip, why are you asking that man how he found something that big? He got the side that you dream about, Skip Bayless. Don't go there. Be custom made. Just, man. That's what I got. We got really? custom, yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah, Skip, we had to get custom. We had to get Negro size. You know nothing about that. Okay? Okay, Pee Wee? Yeah, yeah, custom. Huh? You got an issue like a brain. I, I First of all, at 6 8, you're not buying anything off the rack. I, I just sleep in like undisputed t shirts. Mm, you know, just like full. On Skip, stop lying. You sleep butt naked with your two dogs. That's what you do. Just like you did when you grew up in that cave. Undisputed. Oh, you mean tell every you day, sleep? all day. Let you tell That's you it for us. We'll be back tomorrow morning. <laughs> Oh, man. But anyway, we'll see how the season goes for Mr. LeBron James and also how things go for Mr. LaShannon Sharp James. So peace.